Let us calm our hearts as we share the call to worship. We gather in this Lenten season knowing we are broken. We gather in this Lenten season knowing we need forgiveness. We gather in this Lenten season knowing our hearts long for God. We gather in this Lenten season knowing God calls each of us by name. Come as you are, for you are forgiven and redeemed in the love of Jesus Christ. Do everything turn, turn, turn. There is a season turn, turn, turn. And a time to every purpose under heaven. Time to be born, a time to die, a time to plant, a time to reap, a time to kill, a time to heal, a time to live, a time to win. Do everything. Happy Wednesday, friends. This is our final time in a mini Lenten worship before we move into our heavier Holy Week worships. And I know right now what's running through your head because it was just sung for you, but I want to share the scripture behind that very famous song, at least of your my age or older maybe. If you're younger, you may not know this one. But the birds who put the song together took it from scripture from Ecclesiastes, actually, chapter 3. So let me read for you the original text. For everything there is a season, and every, a time for every matter under heaven, a time to be born and a time to die, a time to plant and a time to pluck up what is planted, a time to kill and a time to heal, a time to break down and a time to build up, a time to weep and a time to laugh, a time to mourn and a time to dance, a time to throw away stones and a time to gather stones together, a time to embrace and a time to refrain from embracing, a time to seek and a time to lose, a time to keep, and a time to throw away, a time to tear, and a time to sow, a time to keep silence, and a time to speak, a time to love, and a time to hate, a time for war, and a time for peace. This passage, of course, through song has inspired many, but as we think about time, as we move into the ends of our Holy Week time together, there is a time and a place for things. And sadly, we don't get to plan and determine and decide what time it is for what thing. Now, in a garden, there is this very specific time to plant. And there is a very specific time to collect. If you don't, you will have a mess on your hands on either end. There are times to prune trees and plants. There are times to let them be. There are certain things that you can prune and can't prune, and you can learn them all the easy way or the hard way, both in the garden and in life. As our time in these Lenten devotions comes to a close, I wonder, what time have you set aside in these days to think more about the gifts of God that were brought into, that are shared with us, the blessings that are poured out upon us? I wonder what time you have had in quiet to think, to ponder, to dream, to wonder about this story that we go from the life of Jesus to his death and resurrection. 
I wonder if you found a place in your garden or in your life for more time to be, maybe less time to do. I wonder if you've been able in this time of Lent to prepare yourself to go through the grief of loss and the Monday, Thursday, and Good Friday stories into the darkness of the grave on Saturday and to come into the joy of the empty tomb on Sunday. I hope in all of these things you have found time and taken time for yourself, for your faith, and for the goodness of all. May you find time to be who you have been created to be. Time to remember how loved and important you are in the eyes of God. And time to realize that you matter just for being you. I invite you to join us into the rest of Holy Week. I invite you to take the time over these next few days to dig deep, to grow with God, so that when Easter morning comes, you might celebrate and proclaim that he is risen. We'll see you again soon. Bye. May we come together in prayer. Creator of all things, you are the source of our light and life. Help us to choose the path that leads to your love. We are often filled with doubt and sorrow. Help us to open our eyes and our hearts that we may see you at work in our lives. Give us wisdom to seek you in all we do. Grant us your unending grace as we journey through Lent, yearning for your resurrection once again. Amen. And he walks with me and he talks with me and he tells me I am his own and the joy Share as we turn.